the story as well. Um, you know, everyone comes to what they're into for a reason. And uh, when I was a little kid, I didn't say I wanted to be a nutritionist. In fact, I never ate salad growing up. Never. Not once. I picked at a salad, like maybe took a little nibble of it, and then if I had to, I'd go to the salad in the trash. Um, I was a non-salad eater. I ate my first salad at 16. Um, so, <laughs> very quite serious. And I'm going to show you a picture of what I looked like when I was 16. In the picture at the left, I was 16 years old. I was in high school, and I was 35 pounds heavier in that picture than I am in the picture on the right, taken in 2011. And not only did I look a lot different, I felt a lot different. And I had a lot of conditions that I didn't exactly know where they were. Um, in the picture to the left here, um, also age 16, um, in the picture to the right, taken in 2012, after I started my own radio show that was, that was actually taken. From um, growing up in a family that also didn't have a lot of money, I wasn't starving, but <laughs> I was starving for nutrition. Uh, I knew what constipation meant when I was four. <laughs> So I've had perpetually bad health my whole life. Um, but you wouldn't know it now, but I had perpetually bad health. I didn't know what energy felt like until I was 17 years old. I had no idea what it felt like to run without pain in my entire life. So let me interject how, how extreme that was. My mom, at four years old, she couldn't manage to go trick-or-treating to get candy because it was too much work. This is true. Wow. I 
made 100% raw. And what that means is that I ate nothing cooked whatsoever. So if it's heated over 105 degrees, it's cooked. If you wear conventional clothes, which I'm sure almost all of us do, who really wears all organic clothing? There's not very many of us. I have to be wearing all organic clothing today um, because I made these clothes for myself. Um, I thought, wow, organic shirts are really expensive. Okay, I'll buy the fabric and make them myself. Um, but just trying to get all the toxins out of your diet or out of your life is really, really hard. You have to replace your mattress, your curtains, your carpets, your everything. Uh, just the amount of toxicity that we're constantly exposed to, everything man-made is potentially giving you a toxin. When you put something in the freezer in plastic, it's going to have imbue toxins into the food that you're eating. If you put it in there in metal, it's going to imbue toxins into the food that you're eating. So, um, and if you're wondering what you can put into the freezer safely is either glass, which you don't want to seal because it will make the glass break, or in silicone, which is inert. It doesn't um, off-gas anything. So, so that's what I use when I'm freezing things. But I can tell you it's not nearly as convenient as plastic baggies. Um, so, so very unfortunately, we're all exposed to toxins all the time. So it's even more important than ever before in history to eat a detoxifying diet. Because if your diet is detoxifying you, that it's literally taking toxins out of you. And you need a lot of minerals to do that, so it's got to be nutrient-rich to be detoxifying. And you also need a lot of fiber to take the food out of your body, sweep it out, um, otherwise it's going to be stuck. And if it's in your intestines and it's not coming out, you're going to actually start reabsorbing toxins from it that were supposed to be excreted. But if you are looking to live to 120 and be there with your grandkids uh, and your great-grandkids and be very vibrant and very healthy, I'm recommending 40% of your calories from vegetables. And that, if you're eating a 2,000 calorie diet, that's going to be 800 calories. So you can still have your chocolate shake for breakfast on a raw diet. Um, and when I was first raw, a chocolate shake was my breakfast staple. Um, but as you see now, I am no longer um, depressed, I am no longer overweight, I no longer have stomach ulcers, and um, I run my own small business now. So it's been a huge turnaround. I'm just kind of share some of those radiance with you. Radiant and raw. Blueberries, strawberries, cherries, so full of antioxidants. You think that was an accident? Celery, kale, and sesame seeds, natural sources of sodium, providing balance in your cranium, as long as you get your potassium, and don't forget water. Hydration makes you hotter, sexy, sophisticated, strong, and sleek. Raise your body to its peak. Don't settle for minimum. Raise up to the maximum. Jojoba jumping jubilance, exulting exotic exuberance. Enter abundance. Forget reminiscence. <coughs> Fill your life with anticipation, elite standards of elation, moving motions of motivation, goals, gifts, and gratification. Papaya, pineapple, and mangoes put the punch in your tango. Broccoli, Brussels, and bok choy bring on the beautiful joy. Cayenne, chili, and garlic. Give your body some fight. Burn out the parasites. Reverse your smite to delight. Raw and radiant is right. Thanks for watching. What you've just seen is a small part of my story, the parts that I told during my two and a half hour talk at Ashker's Juice Bar. You can check out their fresh raw juices on Elmwood Street in Buffalo, New York. You can find my recipes, including ice cream, simple green juices, savory nori wraps, and really decadent desserts on my website. While you're there, you can also subscribe to my monthly newsletter. Also check out my digital paintings. I'm available for book cover commissions as well as logo designs, business cards, and more. See you at Raiderly.com.